This is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what this camera is and all the features that you have access to. And I'm also gonna show you a ton of footage that I've shot using this camera while I've been out here in the Utah desert. So I came out to Utah to play around with this camera and do some off-roading out here in the middle of nowhere. And what I found playing around with the Pocket 3 is that it's a really useful camera in the right setting. There's a lot of interesting features and I actually enjoy working with this camera instead of, you know, pulling out my phone or something like an action camera. And something that you're gonna notice right away is right here in the middle of my chest. It's a new DJI mic that comes with the Pocket 3. And it's a completely redesigned DJI mic. And so what is this camera? Well, it's a combination of a gimbal and camera all in one in a super small, slim design. You're able to pack it down super small, keep it in your pocket, and then whenever you want a super stable shot, you could pull this out and get either horizontal or vertical footage using this little device. And it has more features than you're gonna find on say a smartphone or an action camera, because to get the same features that you get in this, you'd have to have a gimbal plus a camera. Whereas this is just an all-in-one unit. One of the coolest things is how fast it turns on and starts recording. You actually flip the screen, but then as soon as you flip the screen, it powers on, you can hit record and start recording. Now, whether you flip the screen horizontal or vertical, you can have it set to do different things. Right now, mine's on auto rotate. So when I switch it from horizontal to vertical, then it's gonna switch from horizontal footage to vertical footage. So if I wanna create some shorts, I can just put it in the vertical mode and I'm seeing the screen in vertical mode. And the big thing about the Pocket 3, it's got a big screen on this camera. And so for me, it's super easy to see what you're doing and you flip it to be able to switch between horizontal and vertical. And it just makes this super unique in that you're not having to look at a small screen when you're shooting vertical content. Now, one of the big things that I found just working with this out here on this trip, but also playing around with my family when I went to a pumpkin patch, it's a lot easier to hold than other cameras. And the reason is the design. It's a long skinny camera and you can hold it with your hand easily and be able to operate the buttons with with your thumb. It's not really intrusive, so you can kind of just have this on you anywhere and you could get some good looking footage. Now, when you're holding a phone, it's a little bit different because you're holding it like this or like this, and it's just not as easy to get some of the shots that you want to get when you're working with a gimbal. So if you're getting down low and say walking through a space, well, you kind of have to like crouch weird with the phone to be able to get those shots or hold it in awkward position. Whereas with the gimbal, I can hold it like this, I can hold it like this, I can hold it straight out like a flashlight and it just makes it easy to be able to hold this camera to be able to get your shots. So I'm sure a lot of you are interested in the main features around this camera and what you get with the Pocket 3. So this camera has a one inch sensor. It's got a 20 millimeter lens, it has an aperture of an F 2.0. It could shoot up to 4K 60 frames per second. But if you go to slow-mo, you can shoot up to 4K 120 frames per second or HD up to 240 frames per second. It's a 9.4 megapixel camera. And so for photography, you're shooting at a resolution of 4K. Battery life on the actual camera itself is 166 minutes and it shoots 10-bit 420 footage with D-Log-M. So if you're familiar with DJI's products, that's the same that you get in the Mini 4 Pro or the Air 3. You have the ability to color grade this footage and, and be able to get a good look when you're shooting in D-Log-M. Now specs are great. However, what makes this camera so unique is the design of the whole system. So right here on the front, you have this rotating screen that turns it on. It also switches from horizontal to vertical and allows you to view in different ways. The screen itself is a touch screen. So you can swipe down, swipe left, swipe right, swipe up, tap, the different buttons on screen. And so you have everything accessible right here on the screen itself. You never have to attach something like your phone and use an app to be able to access anything in this camera. Now on the camera, there's a joystick and a record button. So the record button will also work to power it on and off. And then the joystick allows you to do some different functions. So when you're working with it as just a normal gimbal, you can use the joystick to pan around the camera. It can go up, down, left, or right. But you can also switch it to a zoom mode and you can zoom in and out when you push up and down on the joystick. Now on the bottom of the camera, there's a USB-C. And so this is how you're gonna charge the camera. And it's also how you're gonna connect additional accessories to the bottom of this camera. Now on the side, there's a micro SD card slot. And on this camera, there is no internal recording. So everything's through a micro SD. 
Now there's a couple cases that you could get with the Pocket 3. So this is the hard case, and inside there's two slots, one for the wide lens and one for the Black Pro mist filter. So DJI has made a wide lens, which gives you a 15 millimeter field of view, and then a Black Pro mist, so that if you wanna get more halation and more of that mist feel, then you have those filters for this camera. All right, so now I'm doing vlog mode. This is just with the normal lens that comes on the Pocket 3. And I also have the auto face detect turned on. So what this does is when there's a face in the frame, it's going to auto detect and it's going to track. So if I move around, it's going to follow me. This makes it super easy. So if you're vlogging, you just pull the camera out away from yourself and you automatically have a good shot with yourself centered. Now, if you want to justify yourself, put yourself off to one side. Well, you just pull left or right on the joystick like I'm doing right now. And now I'm tracking, not dead center, but justified off to one side or the other. So if you wanted to have something over here, while it's still tracking you, no matter where I go, it's gonna keep me in that part of the frame. I'm gonna put on the wide lens. So, so this is the 15 millimeter, snap it on. So now this is vlogging with the wide lens. I'm holding the camera the same distance, using the face tracking still. And you could see how much wider you get. With the normal lens, 20 millimeter, it's a great focal length, but having the 15 millimeter just gives you even more range, especially when you're vlogging. So if there was other people in the frame, you could easily pull yourself off to one side, have two people talking, and it could still follow you. Just makes it really easy when you're doing talking to camera style videos. And as I just move around, it doesn't matter where I go, even with this high contrast with the bright sun right over my shoulder, it's gonna continue to track me. Make shooting vlog style content, talking to camera style content just so much easier. I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of third party lenses that come out because on the edge of the camera, it's a magnetic mount. So you're gonna be able to add on different filters like Indies and Mist and wide lenses and anything that you're gonna to wanna to add on to the front of this camera. So we just got to the ghost town on the trail and I wanna try out this Black Pro Mist filter. And so all the footage I'm gonna shoot here, I'm using this filter and creates kind of like a soft glow around Things that are bright, like the sun behind me, creates this halation. So it has more of a cinematic quality in certain situations and it just gives the footage a different look. But this is a filter that I often use when I'm filming my videos. And so having a, just a little one that I can put on this Pocket 3 makes it so that I can match footage to my other cameras a little bit better and also have more of those cinematic qualities where you have some blooming in your highlights and a little bit more of a misty feel to your footage. Now the Pocket 3 just fits nicely in this hard case, and this is what I've been using just in my pockets. So I have the two attachments and also the pocket with me wherever I go. Now there's also this small soft case that comes with a few different accessories, and the accessories just attach right to the bottom of the Pocket 3. So one of these accessories is just a quarter 20 on the bottom and it moves the USB-C to the back. So if you wanted to mount this on a tripod or some other mount, you could use this to easily attach it to anything. And then you could also have continuous power by using this USB-C on the back. Now, another mount that you have access to is the battery mount. So this is gonna extend the battery life of this camera. And also it has a quarter 20 on the bottom it moves the USB-C to the back as well. Now, if you wanna set this camera down and be able to do something like a time-lapse or a motion-lapse, or even be able to set it down between shots, there's a little tripod that comes with it, and you can attach this to any of those bottom attachments using the quarter 20. And both the soft case and the hard case are tiny, and you can keep all the attachments in the soft case if you want, which I've even used this loop, hooked it onto my belt just so I've had everything on me when I'm out filming with it. However, this will easily pack down into your backpack or throw in your car wherever you're going, and it just the whole system is super tiny. Now, also the big thing that you probably have noticed as I've been filming this video, is there's a new DJI mic. And this is a completely redesigned version of the DJI mic. And so you can see on the device itself, it has a different look. It has a different microphone on the top of it. Also has a different windscreen and the way that it attaches, it hooks into the microphone port so that it doesn't fall off very easily. And throughout this entire video, you've been hearing the audio from this microphone. I'm doing a backup recording, but the big thing about this new DJI mic that comes with the Pocket 3 is that it automatically connects to the Pocket 3 and it uses a Bluetooth connection so that you don't have to attach any anything extra to the pocket. You just turn it on and it auto connects to this microphone and then you have wireless audio and you could step away from your camera or you could put it on someone else that you're filming, be able to get clean audio. Now let me go through how this camera works so you could see how you can use this when you're out filming. 
So right here on the screen, everything's done through a swipe and a touch. So you could swipe up to change your frame rate and your resolution. And so you could see you could do 1080p, 2.7K, up to 4K. And then you could also change your resolution to one by one or 16 by nine. Now you have your frame rate underneath that. If you touch the button in the lower left-hand corner, you can change the different modes of your camera. So you could go from panorama to photo to video to low light, slow motion, and you could do time-lapse. And time-lapse has multiple features. You could do a time-lapse, which is just where the camera sits here, gets a static shot, and you're gonna let time pass in front of the lens. You could do a motion lapse where you can have the camera move during the time lapse, or you could do a hyperlapse, and that's where you're walking with the camera or moving with the camera in some way, and then it's gonna do a time lapse and stitch it all together. Now in the lower right hand corner, you have this button that just switches and goes to vlog mode. And so now I'm vlogging, and you could see what the shot looks like as the camera's just facing me. I can triple tap on the joystick, and the gimbal's gonna rotate around. Now I'm gonna pause the video right here because I just realized the feature was turned on the DJI mic where it's called video to audio sync. So whenever I hit record on the Osmo Pocket 3, it's gonna start the backup recording on the DJI mic. And when I stop the recording on the Osmo Pocket 3, it's gonna stop the recording on the DJI mic. So it's gonna automatically turn on and off so you always have a backup whenever you turn the camera on and off. However, as I was shooting the A-roll for this video, I hit on and off recording on the Osmo Pocket 3, which stopped the backup audio on this. So the whole next section is with my other microphone on my camera. That's why it might sound a little bit different, but that was because of this cool feature where the backup recording starts and stops when you start and stop the recording on the Pocket 3. And when you swipe right, you could change your settings. So you could do either all auto or you could do pro mode where you can manually adjust any of your settings. And this is also where you could change to do normal mode or D log M. D log M is a flat profile. It allows you to do some color grading later in your editing software. And so you can see all of this footage that I've been shooting in this video are shot with D log M. And I'm using my set of LUTs that I've specifically created for D log M to color grade all of this footage. And if you wanna see more information about these LUTs, I'll put a link down below in the description so you can check them out because they work for both the pocket, also all of DJI's drones that shoot in log profile. Now, when you swipe down, you have all of your advanced menu options and there's a tons of things that you can change about this gimbal. Now, one of the big things that's gonna help you as a creator is how the gimbal actually works. So there's three gimbal modes. You can have follow all, which the gimbal is gonna follow your direction down, up, left, or right. You have tilt lock so that your camera's always gonna keep the horizon level, but will pan with you left or right. And then you have FPV, where the gimbal's gonna rotate any way that you move it. So you could spin left or right and the horizon's gonna shift, but you could also tilt down, tilt up, or pan left or pan right. Camera's gonna move with you. So you use these three different gimbal modes depending on the shots that I want. A lot of times I'll keep it in tilt lock mode so that the horizon is always level, but the gimbal's gonna pan with me as I move. Now at the top of the screen, you'll see that there's this green line bouncing to the right, and then it goes to orange and red. This is the audio from the DJI mic. So you see it right here on the screen. Instantly, as soon as you connect the mic to the Pocket 3, you see your audio levels displayed right here on the screen. Now there's three advanced features that's gonna help you get better shots with this gimbal. Little icon to the left, you click this and you have face auto detect, you have dynamic framing and you have spin shot. So for face auto detect, when this is turned on, as soon as you hit record, it's gonna find a subject and lock onto them. And so when I turn this on, I could rotate the camera to do like vlog style filming, hit record, it's gonna auto find my face and then no matter where I go, it's gonna keep me centered. And this will work in front of camera or behind camera. Now for dynamic framing, you get these little boxes on the screen and you wanna choose which one you wanna track. Now put something like Jeep in one of these tracking points, hit the center button of the joystick and now it's gonna continue to track that point and it's gonna keep it in that section of the frame. So you have these nine dots on screen because those are the nine spots you can track around the frame. So if you wanna say have the Jeep in the left third, well, you could track from one of the left third points and no matter how you move, well, the camera's gonna keep that subject in the frame where that box is on the screen. So you're tracking and you get to pick where on the screen you wanna track that subject. And the last advanced mode is spin shot. So you have the camera rotate either 90 degrees or 180 degrees. And when you hit start, it's gonna auto rotate. 
camera's gonna go into flashlight mode and it's just gonna spin. So you could create these cool spin shots and all you have to do is either stand there or walk forward or walk backwards and you get this really cool dynamic move as the camera is spinning. So a ton of features packed into this camera that just give you a lot of options when you're out filming to be able to get the footage that you need. Now, one feature that's interesting is the low light mode, and this is limited to a max resolution of 30 frames per second. However, when I was filming us last night around the campfire, camera will auto adjust the settings to give you the best looking image in a low light setting. Now, when you're in low light mode, you only have access to normal color profile, and it's basically auto adjusting all of the settings so that it gives you the best looking footage in these lower light situations. Now, in terms of audio, you have the DJI mic, which I already explained. However, on the gimbal itself, there's three different microphones. And so if you're vlogging, you'll see that there's a microphone right here next to the screen. So you're gonna get clean audio of yourself when you're just using this camera. And when I've been recording some of these different bits where I'm walking around with the camera and doing this kind of vlog style shot, I don't have any audio attached to the gimbal. All I'm using is the audio straight from this little microphone on the front. And you'll also see that there's little holes around the gimbal which are picking up the audio from 360 degrees. And if you do wanna plug in a microphone, well, you can plug in using the USB-C or you could use that Bluetooth connection. Now, in terms of battery life, you get 166 minutes, which is about 2.7 hours. So not a ton of battery life. However, when you work with the battery extension, it gives you 100 extra minutes of operating time. So in full charge, you get a total of about four and a half hours. And if you need more than that, there's a quick charge feature built in. So it only takes around 16 minutes to get this gimbal up to 80% charge. And so as I've been using it over the past few days out here in the desert, I'll just plug this into my car or one of my batteries and I've never had any issues with the battery life on this gimbal. Now for the autofocus, it's improved from the previous models and I've noticed that it's snappy, it's fast. I haven't really had any issues with autofocus, but one of the things they have added in this gimbal is that there's a feature called product showcase. And when you turn this on, any object that's closest to the camera is gonna stay in focus. Overall, it's a super unique product because it's so small and compact, but you have all the benefits of having a gimbal. One of the things that I think this can be super useful for is anybody that wants to do some vlog style content and film yourself because with a 20 millimeter lens, that's wide enough to get a clean vlog style shot. And if you wanna use the wide angle attachment, you have that 15 millimeter. But whenever I'm shooting my videos, like this video right here, I'm using a 20 millimeter lens. And the fact that it's so small and tiny means that wherever you take it, it's not intrusive. So people won't notice that you're filming. You're not gonna get the same awkward stares that you would get with a big camera on a bigger gimbal. This thing is small. And in the past, I've used previous models of the pocket to just have on me when I'm hiking because you get some really unique footage when you have a gimbal in these situations where you're not gonna pull out a big gimbal and set up all the stuff that it takes to make a gimbal work. Now, one of the limitations is that it is just a wide lens. And so you're always gonna have that wide look when you're working with this camera. So it's definitely a tool for the toolkit. It's a camera that I personally am gonna continue to use because it's so easy to pull this out, get a shot of wherever I'm at and get some good sounding footage as well with the microphone built in or this little DJI mic that comes with it. And if you want more information about the Pocket 3, I'll put a link down below in the description. And also, if you wanna see more videos around this camera, how to get some better footage out of this camera, how to use this camera, let me know in the comments. And next, you should check out this video right here, which is all around the DJI Air 3, which is the drone that I use to shoot all those epic shots out here in Utah. I'll see you on the next one.